Do I need a commercial real estate agent? Well, there's a couple ways to answer this question. You could say yes if it is your very first transaction, mainly because you don't know the lay of the land. You're maybe not an expert in contract negotiation. Maybe you don't know what to look for in a property. Uh, the leases don't look right, which you're going to have an attorney probably do that for you anyway. But more than likely, it's really the structure of the deal. And that's why I highly recommend if it's your first deal, maybe your first couple of deals, you definitely want to get a commercial real estate agent to help you. Now, if you've been doing this for a long time, you don't need a real estate agent to help you with that, specifically a commercial agent. But it's not a bad idea because they take a lot of stuff off of your plate, things you don't want to do. Now, in the residential world, I understand it's a little bit different. Sometimes realtors are frowned upon and we don't really want to use them as much, anything of that nature. This is a little bit different because when you're buying a house, so typically a residential agent would help you buy a house to look for certain things and they have their uses too. I think they're very valuable. Now, the difference in a commercial real estate contract, now let's say it's a lease. If it's a lease, there's going to be a lot of things maybe you don't know what to look for or ask for, right? Maybe you're not too familiar with the tenant improvement allowance um, in this field or in this area. Uh, maybe there's a couple of things on the, on the triple net lease that don't look right and you're not really sure. Now on a purchase, obviously it depends on the purchase. If it's a, a hotel, could be different than a 20 unit building. If it's a retail center, it has to be structured differently. You actually don't need a real estate agent to do any transaction, but they do provide value. Now, if you're the buyer, it only makes sense to have a real estate agent to help you because that broker is in charge of putting the deal together, right? They don't get paid unless the deal closes. So they want the deal to close. They're not working against you by any means. Uh, if you're looking at it yourself and you think you can pull it off, it's totally fine. But try not to put pressure on yourself. Try not to um, do work unnecessarily. So maybe there's certain clauses or certain things you're not too familiar with. It's not a bad idea. It's definitely not something I would uh, take too lightly. I would ask around maybe ask a friend who they use, do some research in the area. That's another thing. It's not always true. The person who does the most deals is the best because they have so many deals. Are they going to give you the time that you need? Probably not because they're working on 10 other transactions. You're number 11. Um, but the rookie, maybe he's not the best, but maybe somewhere in between, maybe someone who's very personable, very knowledgeable, very sharp, and you get along with. Very important you get along with these people because uh, it takes a while to get put a transaction together and then you need to help you need their help to find more deals if you do this right I hope that was helpful if you have any questions, please let me know